Hi there, tech people. It is Sean Worker, your host, and delighted that you came back to the channel. This is an exciting uh, call. It's an exciting video, and equally, it's an exciting uh, extended vodcast right after. So big call out to our partner friends in the United States at No Vacancy that goes out live every day where we promote all things TTH and our producers at Hunter Gatherer. Thanks a million to Art and team. So today is uh, all about talking with Dara Meath. Dara Meath is uh, an accomplished technologist. And, you know, when you listen to what she covers and what she will talk about when we get going here, she's the divisional chief information officer um, with responsibility for digital and e-com uh, within uh, the division of, of uh, Conair. And Conair, uh, many of you know that, especially our, our friends in the United States and many of the Europeans will also know uh, Cuisinart, Waring and many other brands that, that uh, Dara is going to talk about. I know I didn't tell the whole story about Conair. So it, yeah. just, you know, you got a huge responsibility. Can you give us some idea of scale and what you cover and, and the brands you support and where you support it? Cause you just come off what, 10 weeks of traveling? I did. I did. Yeah. So thank you. Um, you know, Conair is, is a consumer goods products company globally. Uh, many people will be very familiar with the brands underneath it. Uh, several of them uh, with the label of Conair. We have thousands of products underneath that one label, which really go from the end point of beauty straight through to home uh, improvement goods. Um, and then we have other business brands like uh, Babyless Pro, Cuisinart, wearing commercial products and Landry Limited and so on. Um, and Stunsy being one of them, which is every woman's hair tie and hair accessory that's being used out there. So it's it's a incredible conglomerate of really personal um, and professional care goods within the electronics and um, consumer goods space uh, for, you know, people that want to cook, they want to play, they want to enjoy, and they just want a better, you know, wellness within their um, selves. So well, everything from a scrunchie to a, you know, an air fryer. 100%, right? So you can be you can go wrong. good while you're healthy cooking, right? So I love that. It's one of those. I those love that too. Do. And yeah. so, you know, you can equally have a hospitality division. And, you know, here at Adapters Tech X, we spend a lot of time with our friends in travel, tourism, hospitality, retail, and restaurants saying you got to look over the fence at other really, really impressive businesses and speak to technologists that are running a diverse piece of business. But we've got a lot in common when it comes to tech stacks. That yeah. I'm, that lots. It's amazing. So, you know, when you think of, um, you know, what you do every day, what are what are some of the most complicated things that you think shouldn't be complicated in tech that you solve for? Yeah, great question. Um, I think some of the most common things that we we always see within the technology space, honestly, is always going to be around reporting. Reporting right mm -hmm. now is, is uh, the core and the essential pieces of how businesses are operating. And I think as, as good as the reporting is each day, there's always more that people are looking for, right? And so the challenges come in, making sure you have all the right data points and you're gathering them together to really give the full story of what is out there and what you can offer. And I think that comes in from whether you're doing financial reporting, whether you're doing consumer reporting, uh, whether you're doing operational reporting, I think it's always one of those very, how do I hit the right marks so that everyone actually can see exactly what they need and they feel accomplished with the reporting structures that they've been receiving. And then how do I take that data and then help them build onto it to get them more of the repetitive motions, right? The the angles that we need so that eventually uh, we can add in those infrastructures of AI to really help them motion and move forward. Um, so I think reporting is one of them. There's there's definitely other things each day, right? We're in a hybrid environment today. So we're looking to go into a, you know, cloud, more cloud structure. And of course, we could speak hours about that. Um, and I wouldn't say that it's a challenge, but I would say that there's learning curves. There's things that you must pick up and do. Right. And so there's just so much around that. What are the two or three features that you see in technology that drives the platform? I mean, and and really gives insight both to clients and your employees. Yeah, it's a great question. I think 
Wow. Is there, there's a two or three things. I think there's just so much, right. Um, for us. Well, well we've got lots of time next time, but right now we've got probably 45 <laughs> seconds. On yeah. Yeah. So I would say, you know, the top things for, uh, for us is having a very um, clean, efficient model that we start off from, right. Understanding the vision and value of what they're trying to get out. Um, and then taking in with the technology stack itself and making sure that it is a user-friendly technology stack that people can pick up and, do a little turnkey process, but also be able to adapt to it when they need to further. Um, and then other points I say was the way that you can then regenerate that those points back into a very friendly, adaptable, whether it's on mobile, dashboards, wherever it might be, so that your entire business is landscaped on the right, um, you know, they all have the same vision of using the landscape on the right formats. Yeah, it's interesting that you did you call and label as landscape that is obviously topography and it's got peaks and it's got troughs and it's got a mood to it and it keeps changing and, and that that's a really interesting way to to think about data in many respects you know that that, that bouncing off the page um I, when you think of for you, you're now going to take 20 seconds and say to all cios out there here's my tips and takes as to why you're successful so my tips and takes for success is open communication and open understanding about our business partners. It is always keeping your ears open and then helping to understand what they are doing and then be able to readapt that and bring them out the technology that's needed for them to do the right job at the right time. Um, additional technology or additional tips, excuse me, within technology is also saying and understanding the teams that work with you and for you. Those that work for you, you have to be able to lift and help them to get to the degree that we are all looking for, right? Bring them into that leadership themselves and really help them be the best that they can be. Ultimately, you'll be the best that you can be and the company will be the best that they can be overall. This was an amazingly quick 930. So uh, there's a lot more that's coming in the next you know, 30 to 45 minutes as we all click over to our extended podcast. Dara, thanks so much for taking the time. This is just a few minutes of a longer conversation. So we look forward to having you then when we get on to our, our next phase. So thanks for the tips and takes. When you really think about it, you know, take take this away. Your people are everything. Understand your customer, understand your client, understand your inside client, your outside client, and more importantly, the team that makes it happen. Um, clean and efficient model. Make sure you're using data that's nice and clean but equally make it friendly um, and device agnostic so that it's easy for somebody maybe on a manufacturing floor to see one lens and somebody who's making a sales pitch on another end. It's a very complex role when you think of what manufacturing is and then distribution, retail, and then equally the products that Conair um, deliver to the travel tours and hospitality space. And, and, and you got to look for a crunchy and a mini bar. Anyway, it's great to have everybody. Thanks again to our, our friends at No Vacancy. Uh, Hunter Gather that's powered this. This is Sean Worker just wrapping up here with Adapters Tech X. And thanks again for listening and see you again next Wednesday.